Now, if we're going to kind of even do the space economy side, we also need more than just metals, right? We need other things to make this work. That's right. Metals are the valuable things we can bring back to Earth. But if you're actually trying to, for example, build a space habitat or space craft, metals are certainly useful, but you probably also want rocket fuel. Yeah. Um, Oxygen. <laughs> um, if you want to build solar panels, you're going to need silica. Yeah. And these are all available. Yep. Um, so there's lots of rocky, stony meteorites, and these come from stony asteroids. There's lots of those. And they're also a very common type of asteroid called the carbonaceous chondrite. They tend not to survive coming through the Earth's atmosphere, but we do get these things on the Earth's surface. So here's an example of one, the Murchison yep. meteorite. Um, and you can look at the spectra of these things out in the belt. Yep. And uh, you see this is a stony, these are the metal, and these are the carbonaceous chondrite ones. Mm. So you can look at an asteroid and tell what it is. Yep. And there are, in something like this, we can take them apart on Earth, and they have lots of carbon, um, which you can use to make rocket fuel. That's they right. have, at least in the outer parts of the asteroid belt, they have water, which can be broken down to, That's right. to make uh, hydrogen, oxygen. And there's so some make silicon fuel, as make, well in some of them? Uh, yeah, less than the carbon. The stony meteorites are mostly silicon. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So actually, everything you need for industrial economy I mean, you're not going to get petrol out there. But I guess if you're mining one asteroid, the M types are your metals, you should surely be able to mine the other types to get your other materials from. And different sorts of um, asteroids are found in different parts of the belt. So the, uh, the carbonaceous chondrites, the ones with all the carbon and the water, are a bit further out in the main belt. Though there yep. are also some near-Earth ones. And then the uh, metal types are a bit further in, and there are even other types with various bizarre classifications. But somewhere out there in space, any material you want can be found. So we would still need to access it, but it's there for us to use if we so choose. Yes, so there's nothing stopping you. There's, there's free energy in the form of solar energy. You don't have to worry about clouds or night or things like <laughs> this. And every material you want. Um, of course, even the asteroids all put together are a tiny fraction of the Earth's mass, but it's all accessible. Exactly. In the Earth, most of the mass is thousands of kilometers beneath our feet where we can't get to it. That's the key. It's so the actual all there. accessible materials in the asteroid belt dwarf the rest of the solar system.